So it looks like SoftBank wasn't the only company to take a bath from Uber's very underwhelming IPO. Xbox, Twitter, Uber, Postmates, Monday, Netflix, MoviePath, Google, Facebook, eBay, DoorDash, Apple, Amazon, Airbnb, The Apptrepreneur. Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur. If this is your first time here and you want a channel which is about Uber, Lyft, the gig economy, the streaming wars, e-reading, whatever, we talk about all sorts of different apps here, click the subscribe button below and ring the bell for notifications of future videos. We upload on a daily basis, but YouTube did change their algorithm a little bit, so you know, if you want to, you know, find my videos, subscribing and ringing the bell is the best way to um, continue to get notifications that we post new content. Well, anyway, a few days ago, or maybe it's two days ago, it, it kind of depends. Like, I know I'm recording this video in advance. Uh, we did a story where SoftBank, uh, the Japanese conglomerate company, they're kind of like the Verizon of Japan, as one of my uh, commenter, my viewers said in the comments below. Uh, they kind of spoke, quite frankly, that they were embarrassed by their investment in Uber. They were also embarrassed in their investment in WeWorks and the losses investing in those two companies is definitely looking well beyond $5 billion. Well, here's the thing. SoftBank wasn't the only company that invested. PayPal also invested. Now, here's the thing. PayPal used to be a subsidy of eBay. And I, I, I never liked that, by the way. I, I, I felt that was a conflict of interest that eBay and PayPal were joined at the hip. I mean, actually, some of my very first videos on YouTube was about PayPal scams and alternatives you could use on eBay. And those videos have hundreds of thousands of views and they're like eight or nine years old. It's kind of amazing to see that those videos are almost still relevant. And well, at one point, PayPal kind of decided that they would be better off with eBay out, apart from them. And they broke off, started, I think their stock started at $26, and boy, did it balloon. It's like well over $200 right now at the time of this recording. Well, PayPal now has what I call VC money. PayPal is popular enough, makes enough money that they could actually start investing in other companies. And apparently, one of the companies they decided they wanted to invest in was Uber. And they're taking a $228 million write down based on that investment. Oh boy, Uber, nice to know Uber screws everyone, not just the drivers. So let's look at this real quick. PayPal Holdings Incorporated will report a 228 million loss on investments before taxes in the third quarter, driven in large part by a bad bet on Uber Technologies Inc. just before it went public. The San Jose, California-based payments company said the investment in Uber for 500 million at the initial public offering price had declined 34% Another investment in Latin America online retailer uh, Mercado Libre Inc. had declined 10%. PayPal's stake in the world's largest ride-hailing business was tied to what the company described as a closer collaboration on payments technology. Which, you know, that's kind of interesting to hear them say that because, yeah, it makes sense to incorporate PayPal into the Uber app. On both sides, you have a lot of drivers who use PayPal probably because they have like eBay accounts and stuff like that. And you have passengers who some of them don't have standard credit cards. They have a PayPal account though. And you know, it you know, that it may opens up more possibilities for people to pay for their Ubers, to cash out with their Ubers, and of course PayPal collects a lot of fees. It, it kind of works out good for everybody. One thing that's fascinating about it though is that I at one point because Uber has been trying to do everything they can to say that they are not, they are not a transportation company. They are fill in the blank. One day they were a technology company. Another day they were a data company. At one point they act. They said they were a social network, and yet at another point they actually said that Uber was a payment processing company. Which, dumb as that sounds, still makes more sense in the social network. Um, argument that they made the social network say yeah what social as aspect like you're hiring someone i mean craigslist does that they don't consider themselves a social network they consider them a classified website ad classified website i should say well uber made the claim at one point that they were a payment transaction because like hey we set people up and we handle their payments so we are a payment company 
And that argument didn't last very long. They didn't use it very long. So now they're actually, te- they were teaming up with PayPal to have a new trans- payment transaction. It's like, so does that mean you're not a payment transfer company? Like, you know, it's, it's kind of interesting. Uber is the most prominent app to use PayPal's nascent pay with Venmo feature. But Uber stock has underperformed due to a combination of slowing growth and accelerated losses. A PayPal spokeswoman said the company's guidance doesn't incorporate expectations for stock price performance of their investments during the quarter given the inherently difficult in predicting market inflections. PayPal said its investments have still generated unrealized gains for the company this year due to better performance in earlier quarters. Following the report, Mark Palmer, an analyst for BTIG, said he now expects earnings per share of $0.54 for the third quarter, down from an earlier projection of $0.69. So, yeah, PayPal will get hurt a little bit from that. However, PayPal will also be fine in the long term. I've definitely got major, major issues with PayPal. I don't like to use them that much. Um, I like to use them so little, in fact, that when people send me stuff with PayPal... I tend to have them send it to Katie's PayPal address because there, there's a lot of reasons I just don't like PayPal very much. But that's besides the point. I can't deny that PayPal is big, it's virtually everywhere, and it's very convenient. Although, I, just to let you know, I do have a PayPal donation button. I mean, not saying you have to. It, it is there, though. But anyway, so yeah, even PayPal got screwed by Uber. And we're going to start here. I'm going to be curious to see how many more companies come forward saying like, yeah, we invested a lot of money in Uber and we just, we're getting hosed on it. It's going to be fascinating to find out how many people that is and what they say exactly. But you know what? That's where we're going to leave it because this is a short video. There's not a whole lot to talk about it there. So anyway, what do you folks think? Do you like PayPal? Do you think they made a mistake in investing in Uber. Do you think this was a good thing, though? Because here's the thing. Uber could still truck along for a couple of years. And even if pay- Uber itself doesn't make money, PayPal will still be collecting PayPal transaction fees, uh, payment fees, through all the transactions. So it could still be like a good deal for them in the long run, even if Uber ultimately doesn't last. But I'd like to know what you think about it. Comment below. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you enjoy my videos, consider becoming a Patreon member. It's totally optional, of course, but even as little as $1 a month goes a long way to help the channel run smoothly and you get access to my Patreon's exclusive blog. You can also get that dollar with a PayPal link, but you won't get access to the blog, so, you know. Also, if gas prices are getting just a little down, check out the GetUpside app below. It's totally free, but you get cash back on every gas purchase. If you want more content from me, check me out my other channels, Kevin T. Rodriguez, the Entrepreneur Vlogs, and Autograph Found. And finally, if you want to talk to me or other fellow e-commerce people out there, check us out at the Entrepreneur Hangouts on Facebook. And as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.